never seen yeah. Rod Tang unleash the elbows like this so early. As I told you, you were going to see a more technical Rod Tang. It's technical, but it's also brutal. You could see that he clinched up, and then, just to inflict more embarrassment into his opponent, he gets into the clinch and then throws his opponent onto the floor. I'm Mitch Chilson, this is Ali, and today we are breaking down one of the most feared Muay Thai fighters on the planet, Rod Tang Jit Muang Nan. What has made Rod Tang one of the most destructive Muay Thai fighters on the planet is his ability to walk forward, take a shot, just to be able to give one back. His devastating body shots, his overwhelming head shots, the way that he is able to build as the match wears on and slowly break his opponents is a thing of beauty. But this style is not sustainable. This wear and tear on the body is not something you can keep up over the long period of your career. So, Rod Tang has adjusted. He has been able to become more technical, more precise, using counter striking, head movement, and footwork, as we see in the Jacob Smith match. Oh, oh look catch at that to the two punch. Counter. Rod Tang is able to catch kicks and then counter with beautiful shots to the body. He punishes opponents and demoralizes them by catching their kicks, acting like it doesn't phase him, and then punishing them to the body. Boom, goes to the body, goes to the head, turns the corner, throws his opponent on the floor, making them pick themselves up, adding even more insult to injury. Of Rod Tang, invasion, yeah. counter. You can really see the evolution of Rod Tang's game when it comes to head movement. He was able to avoid the oncoming hook of Jacob Smith by stepping slightly outside and then countering with a hook of his own almost at the exact same time. The reflexes are just absolutely incredible to be able to time hooks like that. Beautiful head kick though. As contrasted to the Walter Gonsalves fight, where Rod Tang was walking through big punches in these wild firefight exchanges just to be able to land a shot. You could really see how his game has improved and evolved by adding in that head movement. Those elbows like a knife and staggers Jacob Smith. Another rattling uppercut lead elbow, then a dunk from Rod Tang. A new tool that Rod Tang showed in the Jacob Smith fight were these nasty elbows. The way that he's able to close the distance and just deliver these punishing shots from very close range was something new from Rod Tang. The way that he parries in, disrupts the guard, comes in with the elbows, creates openings through the guard to come up with upward elbows. And then, just to inflict more embarrassment into his opponent, he gets into the clinch and then throws his opponent onto the floor. What made this fight with Jacob Smith so different was his use of elbows to close the distance and deliver these destructive elbows to Jacob Smith. And we actually found out later that Rod Tang hurt his hand in the very first round, and he was forced to change strategy midway through the fight. Truly a remarkable feat from one of the world's best. The little angle as well. Rod Tang turns even basic defense into punishing offense. Typically when you block a kick, you're gonna create a shield and you're gonna check it. Boom, just like this. But what Rod Tang was doing against Jacob Smith, Jacob Smith was throwing a switch kick. And Rod Tang, rather than just bringing his leg up and checking it, was actually coming forward to stop the movement of Jacob Smith right at the knee joint. It was a very tricky technique, and it also just does a little bit more damage to your opponent's knee. And you can actually see Jacob Smith kind of shake it out just because that little extra, boom, bang. Over the years, we've seen many different faces from Rod Tang. What Rod Tang will we get to see next? Will we see this aggressive beast who marches forward just melting his opponents? Or will we see this technical masterclass of footwork and head movement and strategy that just wears opponents down and eventually breaks them? Don't miss it as Rod Tang defends his one flyweight Muay Thai world title against Joseph Lasiri at one on Prime Video 4, November 18th. Match. Whoa! Oh my God! I see the. See you whole... later. We have to try everything. Right? Drink. Hello. This and later. Oh. I don't care about the show. I just want a good blooper reel. I want to learn <laughs> science. <laughs> you guys are gonna make the 
look like I'm in the show, right? You're gonna put in the effects. Replace the green. I don't want to look like an asshole here. Sorry. <laughs>